so hey guys in today's video i'm gonna be talking about illustrator for the ipad and yeah without any further ado let's just jump right into the video now when you open up the app this is how the screen looks like now here you can access your previous work right here you can go ahead and learn from some tutorials right here and go ahead and discover amazing projects that they have and also some live streams as well here you can create your own new project and you can also import any file that you want so i'm gonna go ahead and open up my previous work right here so i'm just gonna open this up so i was actually exploring all of the tools so here the first thing that i want to show you guys is um the gradient tool now i used to struggle a lot with the gradient tool on the illustrator desktop version now here it is so so simple to use so i'm just going to go ahead and show you quickly show you how this tool works so what you want to do right here is just pick up your pen tool so i'm just going to create some random um object right here i'm just going to create a new layer first now once you have your object ready just go ahead and tap onto this color icon and go onto the gradient um toolbar and from here just i'm just going to go ahead with this third one this third gradient style so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add some color to this point right here now to add more colors what you want to do is you want to just click or tap onto the area where you want to add new color and then just go ahead and change the color of it like that and you can just keep on adding colors until you are really happy with the gradient like that so that's quite easy to do now you guys i'm just going to show you how you can undo anything or redo anything so to undo you just have to tap with two fingers like this and to redo just tap with three fingers like that so as you guys can see here we have this toolbar right at the bottom of the object so once you select your object so i'm just going to select this this toolbar is going to appear now this tool right here is for the opacity so if i drag up and down i just can increase or decrease the opacity of the object or you can just simply go ahead and scale it up and down but like this similarly here we have this stroke panel as well you can add stroke and decrease the stroke of the object you can do the similar thing by just dragging up and down with your apple pencil like that so this tool this little icon right here is for is to change the layer order and obviously this tool is to move your object like this then we have our this little lock tool then we have this little icon which is for duplicating the object like this without even having to go to the layers panel now i'm just going to show you the newest features that they introduced which is this um, pattern repeat feature so for that to work you want to first select your object then just go ahead and just i'm just going to first try out radial now what it does it it actually repeats the um, object in a circular motion to create a pattern now here you can actually edit your pattern by using these tools right here so if you drag this tool up and down it actually increases or decreases the frequency of the object similarly you can uh, get rid of those object by using this tool right here so if i drag like this it erases those objects in a circular motion you can do the same thing the other way around as well then we have this little circle right here so when we increase that it actually increases the space between the objects and when we decrease that it actually decreases the space between the objects so that's how this tool works i'm just going to select my object and add a grid to it now it creates this pattern without you having to duplicate the object again and again so here you can also play around with the pattern so you can actually increase the size between them horizontally and also vertically like this and you can also increase the size of it obviously and you can just play around with it this feature is actually self-explanatory so i'm just going to go back 
and then we have mirror which is quite simple to explain and yeah so that's about those pattern features so now i'm just gonna delete this now before i move ahead and show you another feature i just want to quickly um show you guys these toolbars we have on the right hand side we have our layers panel then we have our properties and then we have got our precision and you can actually check these out if you are familiar with illustrator then these are pretty self-explanatory i really don't have to go into details about it and here we have our text type so that's that and here we have our basic tools like pen tool pencil tool we have we have eraser we have shapes and we, you can you guys can also import pictures photos you can also change the size of your artboard from this tool so that's that you guys now i'm just going to show you the text tool and i'm just going to create a text box just going to type in new words i'm just going to type type just to show you guys and just gonna select that now here you can change the size of your text you just have to increase this bar again and again to reach your desired size and then you just go back in and you can increase the space between the letters as well you can increase the space between um, different lines now here I only have one word so I cannot do that and here you have you can here you can copy the text to the clipboard and stuff like that you can delete it then when you tap onto the screen like this the whole properties for the text appears right here you can change the font style this is self-explanatory you guys this text properties is quite easy to use right here you just have to tap onto the screen and this will appear you can also add a stroke to your text i'm just going to add stroke to my text once i am happy with the color i'm just going to go back and just add it the stroke you can increase the size of the stroke by just dragging right here so first i'm just going to um select the text and i'm just going to go right here and i'm just going to increase you can increase or decrease the size of the stroke by just dragging right to left or you can just simply type in and you can also edit your stroke right here as you would normally do in the normal illustrator desktop version and that's that you guys you can also adjust the opacity of the text as well so that's how this works works so if you you can uh, you can either go ahead and select everything like this but if there are some layers that you don't want to select and you want to select only a few of them just click on this layer click on this little circle hold it and select this so this is how this little circle is going to help you in selecting various layers now this is not the only thing that this little circle does so i'm just going to show you what it actually does so i'm just going to create a new layer and now i'm just going to create a object and just any object like this now if you are familiar with the pen tool you know if you hold and drag it actually changes the shape of the previous um, line or whatever you call it and when but if you hold this little circle what it does it it actually doesn't do that and it actually just lets you change the handle of it as you guys can see you can only manipulate the handle of that point so here we have got a lot of different shapes as well so i'm just going to show you how these works so I'm just going to create this star. You can edit the stroke as I just told you guys. And you can change the color of the stroke as well. So also just to change the shape of the star or to manipulate the shape of the star. Just tap onto the star. Double tap onto it. And it will open up the direct selection. And you can play around with these little points to manipulate the shape of the object as you guys can see so what happens is when you tap onto these little points 
double tap onto these little points and it will sh show you guys its handles and you can manipulate the shape of the star like that i'm just playing around with the shape of it right here so again if you're familiar with illustrator already illustrator for the desktop then you should know or you must know how all of these tools works so that's quite simple to understand and other than that all of the tools and all of the features i showed you are pretty easy to understand and they are amazing and if you already have illustrator then you can get access to illustrator on ipad easily and other than that i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and yeah i will see you guys the next time